1 Peter chapter 3 and Proverbs chapter 25. 1 Peter chapter 3, so much great stuff in this chapter, but I want to zero in on a very interesting verse to me in verse 19, talking about Jesus, as I understand it, during the days between his crucifixion and his resurrection, when it says, it actually says in the verse four, he was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit through whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. And the best understanding that, I, that most people have is that Jesus went to hell. Now, Jesus also told us in Luke 16 that there were sort of two sections of hell. Remember Lazarus and the rich man, whether he went to one or both. I, I don't really know. It's very possible he went to both. The, the Bible definitely tells us that he ripped off the gates of hell and chained up all the demons. Ephesians 4 tells us that and dragged them all across um, heaven. Uh, I guess what excites me about this is I, I, I realize that we have been told so much more than we deserve. But we haven't been told everything. I, I hear people, well, what about, what about, what about, what about all the people who never heard of Jesus? And there's a very good chance that everyone who ever lived before Jesus got to hear Jesus preach personally. And even in hell, they still had hard attitudes and wrong attitudes, and they chose to receive Jesus or not receive Jesus. Um, and I think that even since Jesus rose from the dead, I don't have all the answers. No one does. But I do know that God is a just God, and God is a loving God, and everyone will be given a chance. And so... Um, it's our choice, but I do know this. Everyone that's listening to me and everyone that we know, they know about Jesus. And so when people say, well, what about those who don't know about Jesus? I find it to be a deflection. I say, let's quit worrying about those who don't know about Jesus and let's focus about you who does know about Jesus. Um, and let's start with our hearts first before we start talking about other people. But all in all, it's just a cool verse, a neat verse that Jesus, you see Jesus preaching in hell during those three days. Let's go over to Proverbs. And Proverbs chapter 25, verse 13, in the Living Bible, um, in, in the NIV, it talks about a trustworthy messenger, but in, it talks about in the Living Bible, it specifically refers to him as an employee, a faithful employee, as, as refreshing as a cool day in the hot summertime. And Beth and I, I don't think a week goes by that we don't talk about the people on our staff and even all of our volunteers, and we say, we are, we are the richest people on the earth, and we have... We have uh, people that work with us and work around us that are just, they just love their jobs and they love each other and they love the Lord and they love serving God's people. And it's just some, how true this verse is that when you have people that work with you that are refreshing, life is easy and life is sweet. So we're so thankful for our team that's around us and for our Liberty Church family. Hope you are surrounded by people who refresh you this day. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today.